Hi, everybody. Welcome to This Week in Falmouth. I am Michael. I am Susan. Hello, Susan. Hello, Michael. Yeah. Nice, beautiful day. Nice, beautiful day. I know we're gearing up Great for the weather. road race. Weather looks like it's going to be okay. I don't know. Sunday might be a little rainy. I don't know. We'll oh, see. come on. Uh, She's been there. She knows what it is. <laughs> don't stress about the weather. <laughs> it's going to be okay, right? Yeah. And yeah. then the other thing you brought up just before we went online, it was kind of interesting, is tonight, are you going to Illumination, Illumination night? Illumination night, Now, yeah. you've never oh, been. I've never been, no. Ah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, a lot of fun. Been many times for those of you who have not been. It's a lot of fun over in Oak Bluffs, and uh, you're going to have a great time. Yeah, I heard it's quite crowded, but expect... You're going with a whole know, gang of people from Falmouth? Just a couple. Just a couple friends yeah nice yeah. you'll have a great time yeah we're yeah. looking forward to good, it good 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 just because we've never done it before so uh, i haven't been over to the vineyard in a while you have anyway. to try all yeah. these things so yeah you do you meanwhile do. closer to home on this side of the pond on this side we have like you said the road race the road race and we'll when we'll get to what that else? we've yeah. got the kids insect safari with professor bugman at the highfield hall and gardens that's professor thursday bugman. august 15th 9 30 to 10 30 perfect for young scientists explore the art <laughs> Arthropod biodiversity outside at Highfield with a real entomologist. Nice. Yeah. I love it. And so this program is suited for children ages five and up, and anyone age three and up can attend with a caregiver, no charge for a company. And of anymore. course, those three and up, the three to five, they're going to probably eat some of those bugs, yeah. right? <laughs> like we all did. Right? Huh. Probably. Nope. If you see them with a spoon, run. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Or, or a wing sticking out there. <laughs> Taste protein. <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> uh, professional photos with your phone with Linda Sharp. This is presented uh, by the Cahoon Museum of American Art in Katuit on Route 28, Thursday, August 15th, 1 to 4 o'clock. Take professional quality photos with your phone. Uh, Linda will lead you through your phone camera settings and share tips and tricks for making a strong photo. And use the Cahoon Museum grounds as your subject as you practice your new skills. That's great. Bring your charged phone with enough memory for photos, and the class size is limited to six. I mean, it's so generational. You know, mm -hmm. when we take photos, they all look like like junk. I mean, my kids take <laughs> photos, they're like perfect. Yeah. You know, the angle yeah, and the, the way yeah. they're doing the it. And lighting, all, right? the yeah, whole all thing, that. Yeah, all that. I'm like, yeah, okay. Great. <laughs> they're all so very you, artistic. So yeah. if you're our generation, you need this uh -huh, class. Exactly. All right. <laughs> Falmouth Cape Cod Dinner Train. This is uh, the Cape great. Cod Dinner Train, and twice a year it leaves from North Falmouth. Yeah. Uh, and this is one of the times, Friday, August 16th, 5.30 p.m. This is definitely a culinary journey. They create their uh, several course meals on the train. Five course, here it is, a five course fresh gourmet meal served on white table linens in traditional rail style. They depart from the North Falmouth Flag Stop, which is right near um, the parking space for the uh, Shining Sea Bikeway. In fact, that's where they tell you you should park. Excellent. So that one is Friday, August 16th. If you're interested, check it out. You might have to get a hold of them and see if they have any availability. Those a lot are of fun. If you popular. haven't done it, check it out. It is a lot of fun, yeah. Um, old burying ground, grave undertakings, the cemetery walking tour. Grave undertakings. Grave undertakings. <laughs> wow. Friday, August 16th, 5.30 to 6.30. This is presented by the Falmouth Museums on the Green. The tour guide will lead you through this hidden gem of the cemetery. And it is, It is too. beautiful. And yeah. it is the oldest, the old burying ground. It, these are the oldest graves in Falmouth. Um, it meets at the top of Cemetery Lane. So park in the lot at Locust Street, use the crosswalk, and head toward the large boulder, which is the Mariner's Memorial, and then right opposite the memorial on Mill Road is, is Cemetery Lane. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Uh, MBL Friday Evening Lecture Series continues uh, at the Cornelia Clapp Auditorium on 7 MBL Street. Friday, August 16th, 8 to 9 o'clock. The doors open at 7.30. The, um, the um, lecture is at 8 o'clock. Uh, expanding health insurance. What does it do and what does that mean? With Amy Finkelstein of, the message of MIT. Um, it's been a major policy focus in the U.S. from the Truman era to Obamacare. <laughs> I knew you get that. All right. <laughs> but what does it actually do for people who receive it, and how should future administrations prioritize further expense? Good to know. Go learn. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. Uh, and th if this one will actually present the Org Oregon Health Insurance Experiment, which is a current uh, experiment that, uh, that is undergoing this um, change in benefits. Great. Yeah. Okay. Come and learn. 
So here we go with the, th the 33rd annual Falmouth Walk on Saturday, August 17th. It uh, steps off from Town Hall Square at 10 o'clock. Uh, this is a 5K walk. It flows through the streets of Falmouth and along the harbor, past the storefronts on Main Street. Finishes with a picnic-style celebration behind St. Barnabas Church, which is right across from the vi Village Green. So that's the highlight and, for it. Uh, Picnic-style. Yeah. Picnic, yeah. Nice. Okay. Right. And uh, and for 33 years, the Falmouth Walk supports local charities. Wonderful. They've given millions to local charities. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. It is wonderful. And the weather will be good for that. And the weather will be good. So yeah. Yeah. No worries there. No worries. Eco magic. Saturday, August 17th, 10:30 a.m at the West Falmouth Library on West Falmouth Highway. This is presented by Mike Ben. It's a 45-minute self-contained program which features amazing magic, storytelling, music, and hilarious kid-friendly comedy with a green theme. Suitable for K, K through... I love K, it. Green, yeah, green theme. Green theme. Eco, eco magic. Uh, suitable for K through 8th grade. Features messages about reading, the environment, pollution, recycling, responsible forestry, and water conservation. Excellent. Yeah. That's great. And that's at the West Falmouth Library. More learning. Can never have enough. Can never have enough. Mermaid Festival at the Cahoon Museum of American Art, of course. Where else would you have a mermaid festival? Last week it was drawing self-portraits of you as a you mermaid. As a mermaid. <laughs> What's going on this week? <laughs> this I love week it. Just continues. This is at the Cahoon Museum, yeah. Saturday, August 17th, 1 to 3. Celebrate the folk art of Ralph and Martha Cahoon, conjunction with their 40th anniversary. Meet a live mermaid. So, <laughs> meet a live wow. mermaid. Wow, I've never met a live uh, mermaid. I can't say I that go. I have okay. either, yeah. Wow, all right. <laughs> I don't know how they're going to keep her. I don't her, uh, know. <laughs> make mermaid-inspired crafts, participate in a scavenger hunt, and decorate cookies. Take home a mermaid coloring book with drawings from local artists. I love it. Including the Cahoons. The dressing up is not required, but it is encouraged. So there might be a lot of mermaids. Me coming as a mermaid? Yeah. Why not? There you go. I love or that. as a pirate. Arr. Arr. <laughs> that was your big dream is to meet a mermaid, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. Nice. Little Star at Tangle Tuit 2024. Love Tangle Tuit. Tangle Tuit. Yes. That's Katuit Center for the Arts. That's their outdoor venue. Saturday, August 17, 3 to 5 o'clock. Little Star pays homage to classic new wave music with a keen sense. Classic new wave music. Is that like an oxymoron? Classic new wave. <laughs> yeah. Well, with <laughs> I guess, yeah. yeah. For, now we're at the point where it is classic, yeah. right? Isn't wow, we're really aging ourselves. Yeah, we're aging mm. With a keen sense of history and harmony, um, Sarah's, singer Sarah Colvin fronts a band which includes bassist Jim Gilbert, guitarist Josh Colvin, keyboardist Arthur Alsop, and drummer Jay Sheehan. Nice. All right. A little star. All right. Harbor Light Illumination Concert Series, uh, Saturday, August 17, 7 p.m., at the Lynn Whitehead Band Shell, uh, right on Scranton Avenue, uh, will feature Paradise Rock. And all shows are open to the public, and they request a pay-what-you-can donation. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Woods Hole Cantata Corn Consort, oh, Saturday, right. August 17th, 7.30 p.m., the Church of the Messiah on Church Street in Woods Hole. Uh, Dido and Anus by Henry Purcell. I don't know if I just murdered those names, but directed by Margaret Bossy. <laughs> no tickets required, but free will donations are requested. Excellent. I yeah. don't know either. I don't know if it's D Sounded Dido good to me. Dido, and Dido. Anus. Well, I Dido. think that might be, might be that. Dido. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Flapjack comedy. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're into comedy now. Yeah. All right. Mm. Presents comedian Christine Hurley Saturday, yeah. August seventeenth, eight o'clock at the Seacrest Beach Hotel, on Quaker Road. Uh, she, Christine Hurley, she loves making people laugh. She's married to Jimmy Hurley and has five kids, and so she's never at a loss for comedic material. Oh, really? She has an innate ability to see humor in every situation, and she will be joined by fellow comedian Chris Penny and host Jason Merrill. Excellent. She's yeah. funny. She's very, very funny. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's at the Seacrest. Nice. Asics Falmouth Road Race. <gasps> 
What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Sunday, <laughs> August 18th. This is the 52nd running of the Falmouth Road oh, Race. Wow. Quite time. So, you know, kind of going back to what you started with, right? So, if the weather was a little rainy, don't you think some of the people running it would not be unhappy about that? I be think they cooler, prefer, yeah, I think right? they prefer it cooler than hotter. So, so it doesn't really, yeah. Um, and whatever moisture there is in the air, it's not like what we've been seeing. So, yeah. 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 So, 50 um, it's hard to second say. running. Yeah, it's still early. So any weather any weather report that comes out right now, it's too early okay. to be exact. Just thinking so, cool yeah, and a little, yeah. little sprinkle wouldn't be a bad thing while exactly. you're running. Right around the four-mile mark. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, cool me off. Yeah, yeah. A6 Falmouth Road Race, <laughs> Sunday, August 18th, 9 o'clock is when it starts. Uh, established in 73, one of the premier running record events of the summer season, and, and it draws international field of yes, it elite does. runners, Olympians, recreational runner, runners. It is a seven-mile seaside course, beautiful course. Um, and of course, the nonprofit Falmouth Road Race Org is committed to promoting health and fitness through community programs and philanthropic giving. Absolutely. Uh, which they do. They're very generous. So many groups in town have benefited, including the chamber yep. and other groups. Yep. I mean, the list goes on and on. Yep. You know, and uh, the the help that is really afforded to these organizations comes through the support that the Falmouth Road Race gets right. uh, through the runners and to, all the supporters. Right, so. to support their mission. Yep. Wonderful. And so um, this weekend includes the Health and Fitness Expo, which takes place at the high That's school, cool. and the Falmouth Track Festival Elite Mile under the lights on Friday, uh, Friday night, the SBLI Family Run, Family Fun Run, and, the, and you can also participate in the At Home Edition which is you complete your seven mile run your way on the course of your choice between August 10th and August 17th. You might have finished that, yeah. Well, no, you still could by August 17th, so you could probably Jam still sign up. those miles in up. there, make it happen. You could still sign up for that. Okay. Check our website if, you're, um, if you want more information. Of course, they also have a very um, um, extensive web website, falmouthchamber.com. We have a road race page. It gives you the links to all of the road closures, the, the route, uh, all of these events that go on all weekend, so it's a one place where you can get links to all of that information. Right. And keep in mind, if you're traveling off the Cape on Sunday, there's going to be a lot of traffic. There's going to be a lot of so traffic. Just keep that in yeah. mind, too. Yeah. Like Susan said, there's going to be some road closures. Mm -hmm. You can go online. Our website, also Falmouth Police, Falmouth website, Police will website, will be on there. Yeah. And so we have just think ahead. So you don't get yourself aggravated. Exactly. And, uh, it's a big event for the community. It is. And we're happy that's happening. Yeah, okay. exactly. Uh, Matt Nicoa Band at Tangle to It 2024. Tangle to It. <laughs> to It Center for the Arts. This is Sunday, August 18th, 730 uh, to 930 p.m. Matt's been a guest performing at their stage with Tom Rush for many years. He'll be joined by his band for one night only from a small goat farm in central New York. He trained as a concert pianist before Ooh. attending Berkeley as a vocalist. And after school, he landed in New York City's piano bar scene. And, uh, and began attracting capacity Ooh, crowds. Ooh, the piano man. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, multiple albums and songwriting awards. Uh, he's uh, also recently performed at the White House and regularly with folk icon wonderful. Tom Rush. And what a beautiful setting Oh, it's nice nice tangled to it. Yeah, yeah, it is. Wonderful. Yeah, and it is a popular concert. Lobster on the Lawn music series continues with Lobster on the Lawn at St. Barnabas Church, which is the stone church across the street from the Village Green. Monday, August 19th, 5 to 7. Music is 5 to 7. It's John McNamara this week. And the food service is 4.30 to 6.30. Your choice of lobster rolls, burgers, dogs, and the uh, accompanying stuff. Excellent. All right. Stuff. Uh, Mark Chester Roadshow Anthropology, Monday, August 19, 6.30 p.m. This is at the Woods Hole Public Library, um, Woods Hole Road in Woods Hole. Uh, he will speak about his newest public publication, which is a collection of engaging black and white photos that capture America from the driver's seat, offering fresh perspectives on the United States' iconic highways, byways, back roads, and small town main roads. Roadshow Anthropology explores high and low culture and the worlds of commerce, architecture, design, advertising, and fashion. Interesting. Mm. Wide high range. High and low culture. High and low culture. I'm yeah. curious about that. Okay. 
VA Outreach Specialist at the Falmouth Community Veterans Center. If you didn't know, the Falmouth Community Veterans Center on 300 Dillingham, which was the old senior center, is now open uh, for business. Right. They've, done, they've gone through their um, restoration, renovation, and uh, they have a lot of programs uh, planned, and this is one of them. Um, Adam Dofler, who works out of the Hyannis VA office, the outreach specialist will be there at the third Wednesday of every month. Um, he provides information on vet center programs, VA health care benefits, how to use urgent care in your community, how to file a disability claim, how to obtain a veteran appreciation ID card, any number of things. You can, walk-ins are welcome, welcome, please bring your DD214. That's everyone who's a veteran knows what that is. Okay. <laughs> That's your discharge papers. Wonderful. Yeah, you got to right. bring those. And if you want a private uh, in person appointment with him, there's a number. It's on our website. You can call and set up a, a private, but uh, otherwise, uh, you can just go over there and check it out. Okay. And the VA these days are, are providing a lot of benefits. So it's, sure well, it's wonderful to have that facility there yeah, on Dillingham. Is. So it's take advantage a, of it. Yeah, it's a beautiful facility. Um, decorative painting workshop, Beach Treasure at the Cahoon Museum of American Art mm. on Wednesday, August 21st, 1 to 4 o'clock. Learn trips, tips and tricks to tips paint. And <laughs> trips and Tips and tricks. <laughs> Stop it. Say it three times. Okay, <laughs> to sorry. painting a beautiful scallop <laughs> shell from expert decorative painter Mary Svensson, ah. who will guide you through the process of creating a textured background and rendering a shell in paint on a five by five inch wood surface. Excellent. Instruction and materials will be provided. Twilight tours at Nobska. This is a new one. Wednesday, mm. August 21st, 530 to 645 p.m. Um, this is a new offering uh, by the Friends of Nobska Lighthouse. Three special days reserved for tours during spectacular sunsets. August 21st will be the first one, then the 28th, and then September 4th. Tours available between 5.30 and 6.45, um, and you have to, you know, call and sign up or email and sign up or, you know, Check our website for the links on how to do it's that. It's kind of sad that Twilight's 5.45 to 6.30 it now. Changing. It's kind of going the other way, yeah, huh? it's changing. Yeah, uh, when I go to the gym in the morning, it's dark again. It's dark again. Yeah, it's dark wow. again. Yeah. So, and then finally, Sweet Home Chicago, the Blues Brothers Musical Review. <laughs> uh, this is wow. at Katuit Center for the Arts. That's classic. Yeah, this will okay. take place August 21 to September 1, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays at 7.30 and Sundays at 4. Okay. Uh, it's uh, 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, a half pack of cigarettes, it's dark out, and we're wearing sunglasses. What, it. what could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> All the songs and some of the dancing you love from the movies featuring the music of B.B. King, John Lee Hooker, Ray Charles, Cab Calloway, Taj Mahal, Spencer Davis, Otis Redding, Sun House, Magic, Sam, Billy Boy Arnold, Aretha Franklin, Wilson Pickett, and many more. Wow, classic. That yeah. is classic. Yeah. So classic uh, Nouveau and then classic Blues Brothers. Yeah, classic, oh, wow. Classic new wave. Yeah. So much going on. <laughs> so it's pretty amazing. Big mix of things. Also, uh, keep checking the calendar. There's a lot of outdoor things going on as yeah. well. Um, but obviously, the big, the big, big, big event is the road race, 52nd annual running of the Falmouth Road Race this weekend. So again, just keep in mind, it might be a little heavy traffic. Uh, you know, be, be cautious. You know, find your way around. Uh, otherwise, come out, support the runners, cheer them on. This whole event really benefits the entire community. So it really does, yeah. yeah. And then to remind everyone, we have an after hours at Highfield Hall on Thursday, 5 to 7 p.m. That's right. Still able to sign up for that. Um, go on to our website and register and, and check it out. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So then make it a great week. Oh, enjoy the week.